Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival, and I have done quite a bit of off-camera work since last episode. First of all, I actually did mine quite a bit of cobblestone from my AFK cobblestone generator, and it's helping me immensely. However, I did notice a way to make it more efficient. I don't think... I don't remember if I mentioned this, but I did kind of change up the casing a bit. I put it one block down so that it won't fail as much as it does if it's up one block. When it was standing right here because the dispenser, uh, well, the dropper was standing right here where this block is, and I kind of buried it one block underneath the ground. Maybe if I get more redstone, I might even able, I might be even able to place it underground, but then I'm gonna need the redstone to be even under the pressure plate, so this is going to be a completely closed off area. Um, yeah, but for general purpose AFK cobblestone generation, it's quite efficient, I have to say. And another thing that I noticed is that I might have to take this dropper and put it one block down, because when it spits out the pickaxes, it spits them out on this, on top of this block here, instead of on this block here. Uh, and that way, when I mine a block, then the pickaxe falls down into the water stream and I'm not able to pick it up, so... What I'm going to, going to do right now is I'm going to put it one block down just so it would be a bit more efficient. Okay, we don't have anything in there right now. Let me just open up a slot for me to place it in there. Um, let me just mine that. And we don't even have to do anything to the wiring because it's going to connect to it anyway. We just have to place another block here. So, uh, And uh, looks like... And to test that, I'm just going to... Uh, press the button right now actually no yeah I have to destroy these now that I don't have iron doors I don't have any iron for uh, iron doors I do when I come in here I do put cobblestone blocks like so just so that every time it spits out uh, and uh, pickaxe out right here that it doesn't fly off on the edge and it can happen and of course I cannot have um, wooden doors right here is because I am going to make um, an, an iron farm, an iron golem farm, uh, and I don't want the villagers to be ruined by the doors. Oh, I just noticed. Wow. I never noticed. I thought I had removed every single door from my base, but apparently there is still a spot where there, uh, where there was a door, so... Great thing that I looked there and made sure that it's there, because if I had left that door there, then it would have kind of sucked, because it might have broken my uh, iron farm, so I'll just go and place that back real quick. In addition, I don't think I... Oh, yes, I don't remember if I filmed it or not, but I actually finished... Oh, and yes, I'm going to use all these doors for my... Um, breeder and iron farm and the iron farm does need quite a bit of uh, require quite a bit of doors so I'm just gonna use all these doors for my iron farm too so as not to waste resources I also flooded the whole channel thingy the the transportation thing that I made it's completely flooded I have not checked it yet but I did go into creative mode and built such um, transport system as well and it did work but I did not check the one that I just made and it's completely and it's completely done as so it can travel, um, transport the villagers to the breeder, which I will build sometime between this episode and next episode, so. And also, I have not really built the, the breeder yet, because I am actually planning to get glass for it. Oh, actually, oh, I forgot one thing, oh my god. I forgot to fill it up with pickaxes. I still have quite a bit of pickaxes left over from uh, me making a bunch of cobblestone, so I'll just pop those in right here. And wow, I didn't—I forgot we have so much uh, pickaxes here. So, like I said before, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some glass by training with villagers, and that's going to be quite difficult because I have to trade with librarians, and all the librarians and all of the closest villagers that I've been to. They have not really uh, traded any glass, and so I'll have to find some villagers that are able to trade glass with me, so, uh, librarians. And I'm planning to get about as little as 5 or as much as 32 glass for the villager breeder, and I need glass for the 
because basically going to have this a breeder system that breeds the villagers up and then it starts breeding them separating them into children and regular breeder villagers and then the children will be underneath um since they're only one block tall so um so basically um a villager child can fit under right here and this is block of water so they're gonna stand right here and they're gonna be able to breathe and then as soon as they grow up their head is going they're gonna become two blocks tall and their head is start is gonna start touching the water and then they have this reflex so they, they're gonna start uh, swimming upwards and then when they get upwards there's gonna be a channel that's um, puts them over there and there's gonna be two uh, villager channels that will uh, pipe the villagers up and then to the side and then they're gonna be piped down and then after that what I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to have to build another villager transport system from my breeder to my base so I'm able to get the villagers into my iron farm and in addition to that I'm also planning to build some kind of uh, I will also build a rapid uh, transit boat system not only from not only from um not only for the villagers but i will also build a rapid uh, boat transit system for myself so i'm able to go back and forth very quickly and that's going to be difficult that's going to require a ton of of fences which will be made of out of cobblestone and this is how much cobblestone i have i also made some fences already but my first priority is, of course, making the villager transport system, building the um, villager breeder, and stuff like that. Now, what I was thinking in this episode is that... Oh, the sun's going down. Well, yeah, that's too late. Well, like I said before, I'm actually going to go to other villagers, uh, uh, villages and try to find... Uh, I li I, um, try to find a librarian and then using that librarian i'm gonna trade with him until i unlock the until i unlock the glass trade so i can get glass now i have discovered one village in that direction uh, about five or so villages in that direction when i was searching for lava and blacksmiths and i found i think one village in that direction but in that direction in the east direction i have not found any villages except for this one right here but obviously that's a uh, dead village so yeah and in addition to that while i was afking i did oh how i'm always astonished oh there was there was an invisible spider D uh, did you just see that i think it's because the witches were sometimes like throwing potions and apparently he threw a potion of invisibility or maybe the spider kind of glitched out but the spider was invisible i think there is invisibility in minecraft or did it just get added well anyway I, I'm, I'm actually fairly sure it's a glitch so yeah and like you see right here i have eight or eight or so redstone right here um that's quite a bit but that's not that's barely Mm, that's barely enough or that's not even enough for uh, fully automatic um, hopper cobblestone generator and a fully automatic fish farm as a redstone cannot even create one redstone block so I'll have to get more of that but I did get a bit more uh, recently when I was mining a bunch of cobblestone. I was AFKing and I was AFKing my cobblestone generator. Uh, while I was happening, I got a bunch of uh, witch spawns right here and some witches fall fell down. So I killed them and I got some redstone from them as well. Also, one thing that I would like to mention is that I actually w was able to get chain uh, chain armor. So. If you see that, it says chain chest plate, and it's really amazing enchantment. Projectile protection 3, which was completely epic, and unbreaking 2. So, even though it's very small, it's about to break, it will break. It won't break for a while, since chain armor is about as... Chain, mar chain armor is about as durable as iron armor and since it has unbreaking 2, I don't think it will break anytime soon. But I do want to take the armor and in the future I would like to when I get an anvil I might try to fix the armor and wow it looks so beautiful you can see you can see my skin through the armor and you can see these pieces glistening since they're enchanted yeah beautiful stuff I really want to get a full set of chainmail armor sometime but uh yeah, that's all our armor right here. I also found out that we have five golden ingots, uh, one iron ingot, 
um, it's quite a bit, five golden ingots, but whenever, whenever I'm gonna need a gold, I'm just gonna go over to the nether and kill some pingmen, but of course, we won't have a lot of, um, we will not have lots of gold until we build a gold farm in the nether. And even though gold is uh, it's a great resource, I don't think I will do that for a long time. But then on the other hand, of course, gold can be used for potion and stuff, which is going to be great for my potioning. But of course, to, to, to make a gold farm, I would, uh, and to use gold for potions, I need a bit more glass bottles since this is not enough. So that means building a bigger and more efficient mob grinder. And in addition to that, uh, if I am going to get a gold farm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to make um, rails. And by rails, I mean like powered rails. So I can make uh, tray um, minecart transportation systems to the neighboring villages and stuff like that. So for example, to all of the villages, I'm going to have uh, rails going, especially to that village over there. But then on the other hand, I don't really need rails because... Well, I don't really need to move around that much, except for a few villages. And then, of course, powered rail requires a lot of redstone as well, but I hope that will be handled not by my grinder, but by my trading, because I can buy redstone from priests, and as soon as I get a villager's uh, trading setup posted, that's when I'm going to be able to get much more redstone. But, of course, I am planning to make a larger redstone-infused grinder, one that uses redstone. Hopefully, that's going to be more efficient. And in addition to that, I actually made a ton of wheat. And as you can see, I have all these seeds right here. And I have 47 hay bales. So, that is quite a lot. So, I'm going to take that, and hopefully, I'm going to run to the closest village. And then, we're going to be able to trade and... We're going to be able to trade and buy some stuff from them. And I'm thinking, I, I think, yeah, I'm going to run to this village over here just because I run to it most often. But I'm planning to buy some emeralds from uh, farmer villagers, from villagers that, um, yeah, from farmer villagers using uh, wheat. And hay bale is a very efficient way of transporting wheat because... Wheat, you need quite a lot of wheat to buy one emerald, considering that you need about, uh, I think it's 18 to 24 wheat, so, and then I would not have enough space in my inventory to put that much wheat, so I just crafted into a hay bale, and as you can see, I have the whole setup flooded, it was extremely difficult, and pain, and a and a painstaking task as I had to make a lot of infinite water sources and anyway this will be used to transport the villagers but unfortunately I will have to build such a villager transport system all the way to my base as well so I'll have to build one in the near future as well about about the same length as this one it was a bit dif difficult though to have the um have the water streams turn so I just decided to have one block without water and there's I'm gonna be under here and I'm gonna be kind of guiding the villager by pushing it so I'm basically gonna have um, right here I'm just gonna push the villager onto the other uh, stream so that's what's gonna happen and we ran out of speed so okay it's about it's still not midday okay let me just put the last bottle over here we still have quite a bit of potions and i did get some more uh sugar from witches which is great so that means more uh potions so okay he's selling wool well i really should i really should have brought wool with me because i i do have quite a bit of wool so okay let me see oh this is who we need okay but we don't have paper so he's not gonna help us uh uh, yeah, okay, I first I need to buy some emeralds, and then I'm gonna trade with some other villagers. Um, okay, who's selling emeralds? Who is selling emeralds? Okay, I don't have, I don't have a raw pork shop. I don't have any emeralds to sell. Oh yeah, I think a creeper exploded that, so. I don't even remember when that happened. Okay, there's quite a bit of villagers here. I think there is one villager here that is, uh... Oh, are you kidding me? Um... Okay... Oh darn, that one's locked. Well, that really sucks because uh, 
I don't think I'll be able to find any villagers to trade with. Hmm. Such annoying noises. This village is huge, and yet- Oh, we got more librarians. We got, okay, paper, paper. Okay, well, what do you trade? Oh, are you kidding me? I don't have paper. Oh, there's two librarians here, but no use. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to push onwards. Oh, maybe there's some villagers right here that might be able to sell. Oh, yeah, this is the redstone cell, so... Yeah, I might do this trade with my iron sword, but uh, the redstone trade's locked as well, so... Yeah, that's just great. Um, so what I think I'll do is I'm going to go and push onwards, so... Go and find more villages. And what I think I'm going to do is, just so you don't get bored out... I'm going to, oh, the render distance is already 16 chunks. I put the render distance to 16 chunks because that way it's easier to see any villages that are um, out there. And also sometimes set my field of view up just so I can see the villages on the side of my screen. Otherwise, I might miss them. Uh, but it increases the efficiency of searching for villages. So anyway, I think I'm going to, oh, there's another village. Well, if that village um, doesn't have that, I'm going to go and search for more villages, and I'm going to uh, try and get some glass, uh, or at least some emeralds, and when I get some, I'm going to continue filming. Hello and welcome back. I have found finally found a villager that is able to trade some uh, wheat with me, and as you can see, he is able to trade 19 wheat for an emerald. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some and craft some wheat right now out of that. Okay, oh... Oh, there's more villagers. Oh, yeah, this is a different villager. Wow, that's nice. I'll be able to trade with two of them. So, I'm gonna trade to that and then trade until I'm not able to trade anymore. We've been pretty lucky with that. So, let's see. Okay, he doesn't want to trade anymore now. What kind of trade does he have now? Uh, okay, now we got the particle effects out. Oh, flint and steel. That's not a bad trade. I do need flint and steel. So. And then I'm going to sell some wheat to this villager. I think this episode has been long enough. If I am able to get glass, I'll start the next episode from there. Uh, but thank you for watching. This is Minecraft. I hope all of you are having a great day. And see you all in the next video.